you very okay. much. All right. Good night. Bye-bye. Shirley Fritz with a report from the Buffalo Skating Club on the Niagara Invitational. And, boy, it has been a smashing success at the Dan Memorial Rink. Legalized gambling is coming to western New York. Legalized gambling is coming to western New York soon. For details, stay tuned to this station. Again, Ann Murray. From New Kind of Feeling, I Just Fall in Love Again. It's 16 until 11. We have 39 degrees. You're on the Stan Barron Show. Our extended outlook, with a little more time to tell you about it, says it'll be cool through the period Tuesday through Thursday. A chance of a few showers or flurries on Tuesday. Then partly sunny Wednesday. Cloudy on Thursday. Uh, we will have highs around 40 Tuesday and Wednesday. And in the 40s on Thursday. I don't know if you heard this earlier today or tonight. But the NCAA Rules Committee has rejected the idea of a 30-second clock in college basketball. So says panel spokesman Ed Stites, athletic director at Springfield College in Massachusetts. The vote came during a three-day meeting in Salt Lake City after the NCAA basketball championship game, which was won by Michigan State. Stites said a poll of college coaches was two to one against using a 30-second clock. Uh, you know what it is. They want to uh, be able to stall and play that four-corner offense. The Denver Nuggets have placed forward George McGinnis on injured reserve. McGinnis, who's helped the Nuggets take over first in the NBA's Midwest division, suffered an injury to his left ankle in the third quarter in last night's win over San Diego. A spokesman said a preliminary diagnosis showed McGinnis had partially torn ligaments in the left ankle. McGinnis will be out six to eight weeks. Rookie Jeff Crompton was activated to take McGinnis' spot on the Nuggets roster. In about three minutes, we will have for you the seventh at Batavia Downs, leaving us the eighth, ninth, and tenth to grab, along with our recap in the final hour of the Stan Barron Show. And uh, in the final hour of the show, we're going to give you uh, our final question of the night. It'll be a sports question, and I'll tell you now it'll be on pro basketball. And uh, we'll have another pair of tickets for uh, the Thursday night performance of the Shrine Circus to go to the winner. And Monday night, three more pairs of tickets to give away. Hey, don't you miss Clint Buellman with Sunday morning nice and easy tomorrow. And then Linda Pellegrino, she'll keep you up on all the Sunday afternoon sports. And then Larry Hunter from 5 to 9 is going to feature on the WBEN Hall of Fame the April Fool Giveaway. He'll try to fool you by giving the wrong name of an artist or title of a record. And if you are the first to call in with a correct answer, you get a nice prize. That uh, WBEN Hall of Fame on Sunday is becoming a very, very big show because Larry plays a lot of music that you don't hear elsewhere.